guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. This channel contains hundreds of different videos covering all manner of different patterns, techniques uh, and styles of fly tying. There's something here to suit almost everybody so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, so I've had a request to show you how to create a taper uh, whenever tying a classic salmon fly that goes right through uh, the body and down to the tip. So what I'm going to use for that is this uh, uni stretch. Uh, now this is uh, like a elastic floss type stuff. And um, this is white, this one, but it does come in other colors, it does come in black as well. So uh, this fly is going to have a silver uh, tip and then it's going to have a gold tag. Um, now as I said you could just do those flat but as I said some people like, especially when you're tying a bigger fly, to have that sort of continuation of uh, the taper the whole way through. So what I'm going to do is I'm tying on the fine oval silver which is going to form the tip and I'm doing that with my black tying thread. I use whatever color of tying thread you generally use. Uh, and the reason for doing this first is that I want to uh, fix it in place. It needs to be nice and tight. The silk, the uh, stretch may not just tie it down tight enough for this. So I'm going to take this right back. to the point where I want my tip to be, which for me is going to be somewhere around the bend of the hook here. I want that to be a nice touch and turn. And then come forward. I'm going to take my tying thread then up across the body again. And here we're just trying to create a nice smooth underbody. Because when you're wrapping flosses and silks, whatever's underneath is going to show through. So it's important to try and get it as neat as possible. here I'm just going to whip finish that in and cut it off. So I'm going to use this uni stretch and what I'm going to do is I am going to flip the fly upside down and I'm going to start winding that over itself here where the eye or the return eye uh, finishes and you can see I'm holding this up then and wrapping backwards now this thickness of this going back it may not seem like a lot but it's just helping to balance out here the step to the gut eye and when I get about halfway down there what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this under tension and I'm just going to cut it off so now I'll continue to wrap back a bit. Now as I wrap, the uni uh, stretch is sort of tightening itself up into a rope a little bit. So now what I want to do is I'm going to just let it hang and I want to see what way it wants to spin itself to unravel itself. So it's, it's spinning around like this. So I can then, once I know what way it wants to spin to unravel itself, I can just accentuate that, speed that up. And then what you'll see here is that it has flattened itself out. And I can then make that more accentuated by rocking it back so it catches 
the uh, shank as it goes. So as you can see, we can get this quite spread out now. And I can then take that right back down here to where we're going to tie our tip in. So I'll now flip this over and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wrap the tip so generally that's going to be sort of three to five turns I'll take my gloss right back tight up to it and then when I'm finished what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over the top and tie it in I'm going to use my thumbnail just to squash down that tinsel and then I'm going to wrap over it forwards. Once I get up to roughly the point where the tag, or sorry, the uh, butt is going to be, then I'll cut it off and then I'll continue wrapping the stretch forward. So as you can see it's starting to tighten up again now and that just helps us to build that little bit more thickness when it's tight and I'll wrap forward and once I get close to the finish here then I'm going to spin it again to unravel it and then that means that it's a little bit thinner as I'm wrapping forward And now I'm allowing it to spread itself out again across the the body as I wrap backwards. I'm going back again, but this time I'm not going right to the back. I'm stopping a little bit before I get to it, but it is important that whenever you do this transition that you have the uh, stretch or whatever floss or whatever you're going to use to create the underbody uh, flattened out and again just wrap normally it'll tighten up this time I'm stopping a bit further before the end because we have to have a taper to this end of it as well otherwise you're just dropping off the end of a, a cliff so each time it's up to yourself how big of a taper you want to create into your bodies but you want to go back each time stopping a bit before you know, don't go back as far as you did on the previous app and come forward again a little bit more because I don't want to build it so much anymore I just want it to get smoother and I'm really stretched out now or widened out shall we say sort of come up to the thickness of the front bit here that the uh, gut eye is covering so I can now wrap just onto that and then I put on two half edges and tighten that down in and that will create my body taper the amount that you taper off, as I say, some people create very, very thick bodies, it's up to yourself. This one is even probably a little bit thicker than expected, but it's there to show the sort of effect. And then what I'll do is I'll just take my burnisher and pay a bit more pressure down here on the where the tinsel is underneath the underbody. 
this burnishing does just helps to all those little uh, wraps that are across each other. It sort of jostles them in and makes the uh, makes the whole effect smoother. And that is our underbody tied. So when we want then to put on the uh, tag. What we'll do is reattach our uh, our tent our tie and thread down here. You just have to get it on with a couple of nice solid turns, and then we'd wrap back to that, and that will create that continuity of taper through the uh, butt and through the the tag and tip. So, hopefully, you liked the video. If you did, give us a like, subscribe, check out all the other videos on the channel. And until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.